What up, what up? Will here with the Baseball Bat Bros, live from Las Vegas Ballpark with Wood Bat Madness. Today, we got a good one. Very excited for this, two excellent Birch Bats. We got the B45 versus the Stinger. Let's get it. And here's where the bracket stands, folks. We have five bats onto the Elite Eight, and then three more matchups remaining here in the first round in Sweet 16 of Wood Bat Madness 1.0. Again, another reminder that we'll have all our wood composites and our weird types of wood in Wood Bat Madness 2.0 later on in the year. You'll see your bomb bats and your Demarini wood composites and your Guayabi and beech wood and all that weird stuff. But today, folks, we got two excellent uncupped birch bats. We have the B45 yellow birch B13C, 33, 30 and a half. And then we have the P72 Derek Jeter model. Stinger calls it their JN11, really solid long barreled birch bat from Stinger. This is also gonna be a drop 2.5, two decently heavy long barreled hard birch bats. Gonna be a fun one, fellas. Let's get it. All right, folks, starting off the day with the B45. This has a really interesting knob, almost like a no knob, almost kind of flares in like a bone saber type of knob there. I've actually never swung a B45 before. I've heard excellent things though. And uh, really big dimensions here at Las Vegas Ballpark, but high elevation, really thin air. Let's see if the B45 can put a couple out of here, boys. All right, folks, and we got Detroit Tigers pro baller Nick Games back with us today. got under that that should go right. yes sir that feels very nice All right, now we got the Stinger Birch, folks. Much more standard type of knob here. Let's check this thing out. A bit more of a long and slim barrel on this one. Similar swing weight though. This is a really big, dense piece of birch here. Good ball. Do it. That should go, baby. Let's go. Yes, sir. Another great piece of wood here. This is gonna contend, boys. Welcome to Vegas. Ooh. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, it's gonna be a tough one. All right, fellas, a suspenseful vote here. Honestly, this is gonna be a close one. I have a feeling this is gonna be a one to two vote. I just have no idea which way it's gonna go though. We have 
the B45 Birch, the B13C, kind of an unorthodox turn model, really, really thin handle, small kind of almost bone saber knob, whereas this is gonna be more of kind of like a thinner, long barreled and a standard knob here. Both uncupped, so decently heavy bats. And then the big thing about these two, this is gonna be a pretty high end, pretty expensive one. This one's only gonna be like a hundred bucks. So kind of more of the budget option. On the count of three, we're gonna say B45 or Stinger. You guys got your votes ready? Ready to go. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, B45. B45. Oh, you're taking your first career. Oh my oh, gosh. Yeah. All right, Nick, taking your first career and probably only ever, Bat Matt Nacelle, why'd you go with the Stinger today, man? You know, I had to swing both of them again, and I wanted to do this one a second time. And when it came down to it, it was the knob. Yeah. Um, I like a more traditional knob, if not a little flared. When it came to this one, just the bell shape kind of wasn't for me. Yeah, th so, that's unique, bro. Some people yeah. just don't like that. Yeah, some, some people like resting their hand down on the knob, and that's a more traditional knob on the stinger there. Yeah, I've never really, you know, put the my hand at the end of the yeah. knob. So for me, this was the difference. That's funny, because that's exactly what I do is I hang a pinky off the yeah. end, and like that's a perfect knob for that. So but yeah, no, stinger. I'll Respectable choice, bro. That was a good bat. Absolutely, I like it. All right, Trace, you were the vote I was unsure about, man. You were the yeah. X Factor here, and you went B45. What was the uh, what was the decision maker, man? For me, I felt like the swing weight was pretty damn the same. Yeah, th like that was surprisingly heavy. That, the Stinger was a lot more heavy than I, I thought, thought it was going to be. The sweet spot was pretty much the same. Yeah. To me, it just all came with just the um, the handle. It was just a little bit skinnier. Just oh, it's so it. paper thin, I could bro. just handle it a little bit better yeah. than the Stinger, but it was really, really close, honestly. Yep. Like, it's not like this beat it out by a long shot. It was yeah. a pretty tough decision, so. Absolutely. All right, fellas, and for me personally, uh, just this type of handle and knob, that's like really similar to the BBI 13 HD, like our own custom turn model. Uh, I, I really like that. However, this was a bit exaggerated. I would say this is kind of like an extreme version of the BBI 13 HD. Definitely a bigger, heavier barrel and a lot thinner knob to where that proportion of end load is quite a bit more uh, than the BBI 13 HD. That's a lot more balanced out. Whereas this, this was more of a slim long barrel. You can really kind of tell like this is a Derek Jeter type of turn model. Uh, you can get beat on the hands, still do pretty well. Good bat for like kind of inside out in the ball. Whereas this, you really had to kind of force the barrel out in front of the zone uh, to have it do well. So that made me like the Stinger a bit more. However, when I did find barrel, I felt like this was a bit denser, harder birch. Um, I felt like I was getting a little bit more behind the ball with the B45. So that's why I picked it at the end of the day. But I mean, this was still like a really solid bat. Honestly, you know, for being a lot cheaper, uh, this was a very impressive bat. This is going to be one of the best bang for your buck wood bat options, especially in the birch space. This is a brand new birch bat and we're smoking the ball with it for only a hundred bucks. A very good bat, but I mean, this is pretty damn close to my favorite type of turn model and that's hard, hard birch. This thing could do some damage in the tournament. Really solid bat. All right, fellas. So the B45 squeaks by the Stinger birch and it will move on to face the fan favorite Louisville MLB Prime CB35 Cody Bellinger signature. And there you have it, folks. We have six out of our eight in the Elite Eight that have moved on from the first round. Two matchups left. Next time, we got another big barreled Birch showdown with the TS28 and the VG27. All right, folks, from Las Vegas Ballpark, we're out of here. Until next time, appreciate you guys hanging out today. If you liked the video, we'd appreciate if you would drop a like, subscribe to the channel. You can always support us at BaseballBatBros.com by picking up some of our Bat Bro merch. We'll see you all next time. Peace out.